wanasema Finley aligonga mpira. Uh -huh. Ikagonga windscreen ya gari. Alright. Akamfungia mtoto kwa nyumba. So mm. after that tukajibishana hiyo. Akaniambia hii mkebe pia ni kitu ya kuringia. Ina hiyo mkebe na ndio ile msaidie usiku wa manana. Hawezi linganisha mtoto wangu na gari. So mm. alichukua tuwa ya kwenda kureporti kwa polisi ati nime kidnap mtoto wake. The show that you're watching is about real people who have made real mistakes and whom it has taken them a lot of courage to expose themselves and their issues on TV. Please, and I ask of you, please, let us not troll them on social media. Instead, let us learn from their mistakes. Because today, it is them. Tomorrow, it could be me. The day after tomorrow, it could be you. Remember, this is not a reenacted or a scripted show. Now, ladies and gentlemen, allow me to invite this lady who is here to try and solve a situation between her and a friend and a neighbor, an issue that arose a couple of, uh, a couple of weeks ago, but she's really willing to come and settle out this issue. Ladies and gentlemen, Mama Findi, Karibu Sana. Santa. Uh -huh. Fadali, have a seat. Asante. Mm -hmm. Ha! Najiskiaje? Kusalama. Kusawa kabisa? Kabisa. What's that we get to direct into the story without beating around the bush? Uh, how old is your son? Six years. Six years? Yeah. So tell us, eh? <laughs> uh, do you feel, do you feel like Nkama Fingal from Namakosa? Yeah, na fini kama nifanya makosa. Ebu tuambie story. Because now you're the one who brought us here. Tuambie story really happen. Because we're here to listen and try to find, to put after our common ground, vila wewe, na and your neighbor and your friend, and mtoko marafiki. Okay, it was uh, like a month ago, mm. watoto walikuwa wanacheza. Uh -huh. So we stay in Baraka. Baraka Estate. Baraka Estate. Uh -huh. So watoto walikuwa wanacheza, walikuwa wengi. Uh -huh. So apparently mimi si kukuwa nilikuwa kwa nyumba. So uwezi jua nini ilifanyika pale. Mm -hmm. But kulingana na watoto wenzake mm -hmm. wanasema Finley aligonga mpira. Uh -huh. Ikagonga windscreen ya gari. Alright. Ya my neighbor. Uh -huh. So wakati windscreen ilipasuliwa mm -hmm. Finley akakimbia akakuja kwa nyumba. Immediately. Immediately. Uh -huh. So hakuniambia ni nini imefanyika kuka like uh, two minutes or three mm. my neighbor kaingia akakuja actually akasimama kwa mlango ali knock ama alikamtuka ameingia so uh, tuko friends tunakuanga friends so that's why nimeuliza kwa hivyo alikamtuka amefungwa kwa sababu I mean kama ni nyuma nimezoea eh. mwanzo time hata ku knock naweza kama kwa eh. bendera jose mwa si knock <laughs> muinge kaa nimeingia mm. so yale kama mtu wewe yeye alikuja kama amesimama kwa mlango uh -huh. kama ni kama anakaribia kuingia kwa nyumba uh -huh. akaita finley Finley, hebu kuja. So nikatoka kwa bedroom nikauliza ni nini shida. Uh -huh. Finley akakimbia akakuja nyuma yangu uh -huh. kujishika. So nikauliza ni nini kwani amefanya? Ati hebu toka nje uone kitu mtoto amefanya. Uh -huh. So before kutoke nini and all that ameshachukua mkono ya mtoto. Uh -huh. Akaenda na mtoto. So si mimi ni lazima nifuate nyuma maana yake nina mtoto mwingine mdogo. Oh. Oh. So nilikuwa na ule nilikuwa namlalisha na hako amelala. So nilikuwa namweka alale nifuate. You, you are, your friend anaitwa Elizabeth. Elizabeth. Yeah. So ndio kwa mbaka kwa Eliza ni hofa. Si mbali. Si fa. Eh. Ni kama hapa na pale. So you guys are neighbors. Yeah, we are neighbors. Kwa hiyo ukivunja wall unaweza ingia kwake. Vizuri sana. All right? Uh -huh. So akaenda na mtoto akamfungia ndani mm -hmm. na akatoka nje. So kwa hiyo harakati nikamuuliza kwani Finley amefanya nini watoto wakaniambia amepasua gari. Eh sasa nikamuuliza kama amepasua gari si tuonge. Sasa ule akaja akaja juu sasa. Mm. Uongea nini amjui bei ya gari nini nini na mimi nikamuuliza hizo sio gari. Maana yake ni kama probox. Probox <laughs> mtu yote anaweza afford. Wewe ofendeke. Yes, Brenda. I'm a Samagari in the Gani. Alice and Magari in the Pro Box. Pro Box. Okay. Now you are Pro Box, you're in the box. 
iko na injili. Sisi tukana hiyo gari. Wewe hujui. Box iko na injili. Hapana. So let me so let me so let me ask ya. Eh? Mmejua na faulu mko majirani na mabeshte for how long? For like seven years. Seven years. Yeah. So you unaweza sema nyinyi ni mabeshte like your friends ile friends kabisa. Yeah. So after that, kuzumtea shafinga kwa hao. Sasa leo kaifunja. Akamfungia mtoto kwa nyumba. So mm. after that tukajibishana hiyo. Mm -hmm. So akakasirika ile nilimwambia gari yake ni kama ofuni yake niko na swali ngine. mama fini fini de. Yeah. Wewe uko na gari? Sina. Na bwana umesema yamgiri ati ni pro box. Yeah, ni asini. pro box. Ju mimi siwezi nunua pro box. Kama ni gari washa tu ni ngoje time yangu, nitanunua gari hapa. Kwa hivyo hiyo hiyo wewe hutaki hiyo gari. Lakini sasa mama Finley, acha niulize kama yeye tumekuja hapa kutafuta reconciliation na tena sikio kiongee. Si bora hata jamu tena. Tunasameana kweli. Hata <laughs> jamu. Kwa hiyo ni moto kwa candle. Hata jamu tu kweli ni. Mm. Gari ta gari box. I can't go for pro box. You will go for something bigger. Yeah. Lakini mama fili pia uko na kiburi. Nimeiona. Sio kiburi. Eh? Mbona pia pia eh hebu tufanye hivi ya. Cuz I really want us to get both sides, eh? Hebu tuone Elizabeth. Kwa sababu Elizabeth ali anafikiraje juu ya story? Because we need to find a common ground. Hata kama mtasamiana at the end of this show, but kila mtu akamsikiana, si ndio? So to my audience back at home, I want us to get a small just just watch a small clip eh, of what Elizabeth thinks. Na asira yake kama bado yuko ama yuko and what you really think about the situation and what really transpired wakati wa hiyo time because as far as i see ai mama finley bado bado anachochea hii story mama mm, na mesirika eh naona amesema mm. angoja time yake ya god acha tuone asira ya elizabeth right. gallery director ni chezee hiyo clip tafadhali play me the clip with elizabeth on it na ito elizabeth na ishi baraka estate mimi nafanya biashara na usa mtumba pale kwa mba naleta ma containers wengine wanachukua wakiusa sasa moja moja sawa so, gari ilikuwa ya msee alipoaga aliacha kwa mkono yangu so tangu msee aende 2010 nimekuwa tu niki maintain hiyo nitatunza mpaka dakika ya mwisho sasa si hata badilisha ni wengine hiyo hiyo tu ikiwa tu hapo naona tuka tuko tu wote asapo before hiyo siku yenye mtoto alipiga hiyo gari na kio Nili, yani yani nilisikia ni kama amenidunga hata na kisu juu hiyo ya, gari ikiwa tu hapo naona tu mse wangu wako naona tu niko sawa yani naona tu am okay so vile nifata imegongwa niliumia sana So nilipoenda kwa jirani hapo mwenye mtoto wake aligonga kumtafuta sikupata mama msasi ili tuweze kuongea wala bwanake So mimi nikachukua mtoto ha nikaenda yake wangu nikamweka kwa room ya watoto hapo nikamfungia Alishinda hapo for long sana kabla mamake akuje So mamake alipokuja alikuja akiwa rafu ndani mimi nikamwelesea tu kabla sijamuonyesha mtoto akaniambia hii mkebe pia ni kitu ya kuringia hii mkebe na akarudia ati hata mimi nasachukua mawengine na nisidi kuigonga eh niliona hapa basi kuna maneno yani niliona tu nikae yale tuma mtoto akuje agonge juu badala ange apologize ye tena alisidi kuniongeza machungu Nilimwambia mtoto nimefungia hapa, nimpea damu. Sijamchapa, sijamfanyia chochote hata kukumuliza. Yeye alienda tu an extend akaenda police station. Aka report ni kidnap mtoto wake. So mimi nikakuja nikachukuliwa. Nikijaribu kuelezea wao akasiniambia utaeleza mbele. Nikaenda tu mpaka kwa station. So tukiwa hapo harakati ya kuandika statement. Akaambiwa arudi. So vile alirudi na mimi nikaambiwa uko na ngapi? Mimi nikajengana ile kwa nayo na nyuma yake na mimi pia nikarudi. So imekuwa garage, atuongea watuongeleshani. Nilisikia vibaya sana na nikasema binadamu ni binadamu, tuna asante ya punda ni mateke. Nikikumbuka nikitoa gari yangu saa 8 ya usiku bila ya kujali kama tutakutana na watu wabaya wala wajambasi wala nini kumuokolea. Yulikuwa yasalia kwa nyumba. 
nilisema sure hii hii gari limsaidia sasa hivi imekuwa mkebe na ikiwa mkebe ni bado kitu inatembea na yesaenda hadi nyumbani na irudi nilaumia sana before msamaa to agree kata toa pesa nusu na mimi nitafute nusu tutengeneze hiyo kio sitaki pesa juu pesa ni shetani inayosaingia kwa mkono wangu na nikule nikose kutengeneza hiyo gari ni kwenda kwa kio kuuliza kio ni how much 50 50 kuja kwa leba 50 50 ladies and gentlemen please allow me to now call on the show we've all been waiting for her the owner of the car that is in question the car that was broken the screen the one and only mama omondi or elizabeth mom mama omondi karibu karibu sana thank you eh habari ya leo kwa sawa tafadhali have a seat thank you Najua hii ni mara ya kwanza mmeka hivi mkiona na hivi. Sio. Tangu hii incident ifanyike, sio? Mhm. Mama unaonekana bado uko na asili. Ah, sio. Ikitu likusumbua sana. Bado nasumbua kidogo. Igero uko na for how long? Well, over 10 years. Over 10 years. Yeah. Ni gari mzee alikuwa nayo before before age so akiaga alimiachia so ni me maintain mzee ni aga lini mama 2010 2010 mm. so meaning ni kitu ni kitu ukiona wewe cuz ni mona hiyo video before ukisema ni kitu kiona una ni kitu inakukumsha mzee yeah, kabisa niambi kuhusu hii incident msikio kisema sijui kama ni ni feel ama ni wewe mtoto mwingine mdogo wakati alikwenda kujifungua au wakagu mdogo au mdogo eh wewe ndio uliamka usiku sana anikampeleka hosi hiyo wakati nilikuwa marafiki sana sio nilikuwa marafiki na hiyo mkebe ndio ilimpeleka hosi hiyo kitu aliita mkebe ndio ilimsaidia usiku wa manane mama fi yes hiyo siku ilikuwa ni aje okay cuz ni kama ilikuwa your situation ilikuwa mbaya yeah. ilikuwa na emergency Mzee, mzee alikuwa around. Hakuwa around. So ulikuwa tu ni wewe na umtoto mkubwa. Na, na msichana wa kazi. Na msichana wa kazi. So nani alienda kunoka kwa mama Fayo kwa mondi ama uli msikia? Mhm. -mm. Huyo msichana ndiye alikuja huko kazi. Na wewe ukatoka immediately ukakuja. Tukamka tu yema sana tukaenda. Ebu, ebu mama Fayo acha niulize kitu moja. Yeah. Um Igari uli, ulikuwa umebeba ndani before? Yeah before tumepanda panda. <laughs> Lakini mama Fine yenyewe ndio ifike mali gari umetumia mpaka imekubeba, imekusaidia kuzalisha. Eh mama kafika point ya kuita mkebe. Kuzuri ni rafiki yako. Si ati ni mtu tu kwa jirani majirani. Huu ni mama rafiki yako. Ukaita mkebe. Ili fikanyo ukaita gari yenyewe mkebe mama. <laughs> Unajua si wote ni binadamu. Uh -huh. Hawezi linganisha mtoto wangu na gari. Hawezi. Hata kama kuna gari ya milioni ngapi? Hawezi. Achukue mtoto wangu aende afungie ndani. Bado jua mama Fine vile unasema mtoto hii gari inamkumbusha mzee. Kwa hivyo yeye pia kuna emotions kwa hii gari. Mama Mondi. Yeah. Wendo, wendo una feel kama umekosewa hapa. Eh ilikuwa ni period ya how long before akujie akuje kujua mtoto ameshika ame umefungia mtoto ah iko kwa ba siku nyingi mm. ilikuwa tu hiyo siku ndio mm. akanifigia na mtoto alikataa kwenda kuna wakati alikuwa anakataa kukuja hiyo wakati ulikuwa na ulikuwa naomba unampeleka kwako ah, alikuwa na ile mfuruta tu by force wewe ulivuruta ya yeah. yeah. ile mfuruta by force lakini mambo bana pia wewe ungemwambia ungemwacha fina ni mimi fila mali kwa fina eh arudi nje urudi unge na na mbona ungefanya hivyo mama kumfungia so ni kawaida yangu hata wangu akikosa wanamfungia na akuli kifika jioni amuliza kuna learn something nasema eh mama so you that is your way of this way yeah simchapi simfanyi chochoro bana fungia hapo na akuli Toli mfungia fo. Na akuli. Akuli hiyo si. Kuna kukula. So after that what happened? Mimi niko zinadaka kujua at what point ilifika mpaka mkaamua hatutaiongeleshana tena. Ah uh, so mm. alichukua tu ya kwenda kuripoti kwa polisi ati nimekidnap mtoto wake. 
juu ya kumfungia hiyo. Na hiyo ungi so police walikushika? Eh yeah, wale ni wale ni peleka hapo post na siku ka. Sababu kwa nini huko ka? <laughs> na ulikidnap. <laughs> Sasa nilijaribu kuelezea what happens. <laughs> So, mama. Nilijaribu kujitetea. Mm. Eh nikamwambia si kwa ni intention mbaya. Ha? Huh? <laughs> siku mpiga siku mchuna nimweka tu hapo. Mama Phil, let me let me let me ask. Eh? Oh, ni rafiki yako the same way. Mbona unge mbona ulifika kwanza ndio kwa polisi? Nilienda kwa polisi juu. Mm. Hakutaka tulizo. Eh. Yeah. Juu nimemwambia sasa mtoto umefungia ndani kwa nini? Akaniambia unajua hata bei ya gari. Unajua bei ya gari yu ananiambia nini? Kwani anajua akaunti yangu iko na pesa ngapi? Na nilimwambia siwezi nunua pro box. Nikitaka gari albayaka. <laughs> so that ni kaunti uko watu wenye uko na gari. Sasa yeye watu wenye uko na gari wakisimama hiyo gari yake ni sabio. It's like alikuwa na maneno na mimi. Ananiambia aje siwezi afford gari. So kama ni maneno watu waweke kwa meza. Mam doi meza? Eh. Yeah. Doi meza mimi nataka muongelesha. That's why tuniko hapa. Sasa, siyesi ya kwa. Doi, doi muongelesha ni mama. Mama muonde mwambie. Ah, si nunua pro box na saa ile saa nane ikimsaidia akujua kana pro box. Akujua. Mbona angeenda mguu maende hii akaa anataka. Mwambie, mimi nataka leo tumaze mtu muongeleshane. Sababu mwezi kwa mnakutana kwa stairs, muoi muongeleshane. Mama muonde ndio huyo. Sasa so, msema hiyo ni provo kwa sababu nunua atanunua gari. So acha nunua hata mia atanibeba. Nunua very soon ni baba. Well. Hii mimi nimesweta. Mwafu. Ndio hii hapa. Meza ndio hii. Si tunasema kitu kwa meza. Cuz mimi nikitoka hapa nataka kujua kama mtaio ongelesha na tena tujue mbele ya watu. So kama ni mmoja mmoja ni kuhama ahama. Mimi siwezi hama juu ya mtu. Juzi ananilipia rent. Hiyo hey. watu ilifika hapo vile aliniambia siwezi afford gari. Unaona? Mm. Na sometimes pia yeye upwama hata saa zingine amekwama na rent, mm. natoa na mpa. Unaona? Sasa hiyo wakati imefika, aliniongelesha maneno zingine mingi mbaya mbaya siwezi hata kusema hapa. Wacha ni mzee swali. Wacha ni mzee swali mmoja. We, mgoza tumekuza rent. Wacha ni ni mzee kitu moja. So nani alikuwa wa kwanza? kurusha hiyo neno ya kukwaza. Yeye. Yeye ndo kwanza kusema mambo ya uwezi ya Ford Gary. Yeah, so wewe ukarusha mkebe. Eh. Alisema siyesi linganisha mtoto wake na mkebe. So mkebe ndio ilikuja ya kwanza. Mtoto wake <laughs> ayesi linganishwa na mkebe. Sababu ya mimi kumfungia mtoto. So siyesi linganisha mtoto na mkebe. Eh? Brenda Okay, mimi naona mama Mondi ali exchange mtoto na gari. Mhm. In this case, yeah, akafungia mtoto because aliona umedivunjia gari. Acha pia mimi nijilipishie. So I think alikuwa anataka kupanish mtoto before mama Phil narudi. Even ndo na Phil. Ba pia na Phil uchungia mama Phil ile yenye uko na right gani za kufungia mtoto wangu? I mean, it's just a car. But kwa both parties hizi ni vitu important hizi ni vitu important kwa mama Omondi gari yake ni important kwa mama Fin mtoto wake ni important so hawa ni watu wawili wana value kitu but hawafiki please same mm. mama Omosh kuna kitu kuna hasira nyingine umekuwa nayo kwa mama kwa mama Fin yenye labda gari ndio sasa ikamaliza kabisa mm. kuna hasira nyingine umekuwa nayo kumhusu yenye Maybe miaka tangu mko majirani. So far tumeishi together. Tujai kwa sana hata single day. Kabisa kabisa. Kabisa kabisa na tuna graduate yote. Shida ilitokea hiyo gari na mtoto. Gari na mtoto ndio imekuwa shida. Watoto hata wakipigana kuna wale waraika moja anaambia mamalisani huko nje. Tujai kwa sana. So mune gari ni muhimu hivi mama. Ndio naelewa kwa sababu mimi gari yangu hata ukiguza tu taya nitapigana na wewe. Lakini muone igari ni. Huyo ndio mzee wangu. Eh. Huyo nikimwona tu hapo naona mzee yako hapo. Mhm. Mhm. Mafiru nenda wasi. Naelewa. Ulikuwa unajua mzee? Ni mzee wake niko na mimi. Tazona kwa nini mbona ni muhimu kwake? Tuseme tu kweli mama. 
Unaona kwa nini ni muhimu kwake? Naona. Uzee unajua sasa yeye omondini labda ndume kwake sasa hivi. Tafuna hivi. Hey. Despite him ambayo yote. Watoto wanacheza pamoja huko nje. Watoto wanacheza. Watoto wako sawa. Na sasa nyinyi shida ni nini mambo? Kama watoto wamesawi mambo, kwa sababu mshua wanajua. Mmejona 7 years. Hizo kai maji watoto wako huko nje. Sasa niuliza leo mama Omosh, eh Philly amekuja kwako kukula lunch. Ungefukuza? Tazama Rambo TV kwenye Star Times Channel 484 kwenye Satellite ama 113 kwenye Decoder.